Welcome to the 28th episode of our Sudoku series. In this video, I'll walk you through solving this puzzle using 10 essential techniques. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, these techniques will help you improve your problem-solving skills. Let's get started. Only one position left in the first box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth row where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth column where value 3 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. There is an intersection with another region in row 1, value 9 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 2. There is an intersection with another region in column 2, value 5 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 4. There is a XY wing with the pivot cell row 7 column 5. This cell has two candidates, 2 and 6. One of these values has to be the correct one, but we don't know which one it is. If the actual value is 2, then the same value cannot also be in row 3 column 5. Thus the only possible value of row 3 column 5 is 3. The other possibility is that the actual value is 6, if that is the case, then that value cannot also be in row 7 column 2. Thus the only possible value of row 7 column 2 again is 3. But in any case value 3 can be removed from any cell that shares a region with both cells. Only one position left in the first box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 3 can be placed. There is a W wing in value 2. The two cells are row 7 column 5 and row 5 column 1. If 2 is not in row 7 column 5, then row 7 column 5 must be 6, so that row 7 column 2 cannot be 6. If 6 cannot be in row 7 column 2, then row 9 column 1 must be 6. Because 6 only occurs twice in this box. If row 9 column 1 is 6, then row 5 column 1 must not be 6. So the value 2 has to be in one of these cells, row 7 column 5 or row 5 column 1. It may even be in both. Value 2 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 2. If 2 is not in row 3 column 8, then it has to be in row 3 column 2. If 2 is in row 3 column 2, then it cannot also be in row 2 column 1. If 2 is not in row 2 column 1, then it has to be in row 5 column 1. Therefore value 2 is either in row 3 column 8 or row 5 column 1. Value 2 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a sashimi x wing with value 6 in columns 5 and 7. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 8, value 6 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 5. There is an intersection with another region in row 8, value 6 has to be in one of the marked cells so it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 9. There is an XY chain with three links that starts at row 2 column 1. 
This cell has only two candidates, 2 and 5. If the value of row 2 column 1 is not 2 then it has to be 5. Thus 5 cannot also be in row 9 column 1. If the value of row 9 column 1 is not 5 then it has to be 6. Thus 6 cannot also be in row 7 column 2. If the value of row 7 column 2 is not 6 then it has to be 3. Thus 3 cannot also be in row 7 column 8. If the value of row 7 column 8 is not 3 then it has to be 2. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 2 is either in row 2 column 1, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 7 column 8. Therefore value 2 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a sashimi swordfish with value 2 in rows 3, 4, and 7. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is a fin jellyfish with value 2 in rows 3, 4, 6, and 8. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. All remaining numbers can be solved using naked single technique, so there is no need to explain them one by one. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!